In today's video, I'm going to hire editors from Fiverr to edit a video I shot for a streetwear brand. The idea is to find sellers with different price ranges and then I'll compare the edits to see who had the best one. And seeing as we're spending big bucks on this channel, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website or an online store, make it happen with Squarespace. I started off by putting together a bunch of cinematics from a shoot into a 12 minute video. I then typed up a brief that was sent to our sellers with some key points. The edit has to be 30 seconds to a minute long and they have to use epidemic sound for music. The rest, they have 100% creative freedom on. Uh, first of all, thank you for the 600,000 subscribers. That's insane. It seems like every time I make a new video, we hit a new milestone. So shout out to you lot. I appreciate everyone. Second of all, you guys can take part in an editing challenge. Hey, I finally get to do something interactive with my viewers. In this challenge, I'll also be giving away a prize worth £100, okay? So the details about how you can enter in this editing challenge is all the way at the end of the video. And potentially, if, if enough of you enter, I'll do a reaction video reacting to your edits. Also, shout out to ZRK, the clothing brand that you're seeing in the video. Their link is also in the description, so you can check out all the products that they have. There's some really incredible stuff on there, so shout out to them. Also, thank you to the two amazing models that were a part of this video. We've got Michael Ward and Jack Thorpe. You might have seen Michael from a series on Netflix called Top Boy. Amazing. He's also been in some other incredible movies. And Jack is also incredible at doing what he does. So I, I look forward to working with those guys in the future again. I've left the links to everybody in the description below. Uh, check them out. Show them some love. Let's get into the video. Okay, first up on our list, Fama Adventure. Now this guy put an ad up saying, I will edit any videos professionally within 24 hours. And the price here, there you go. It's under a fiver actually, which is perfect. Two day delivery looks great to me. I've submitted my request from him and he replied pretty quick. Hi, sounds cool. And yes, I can do that. It will cost $5 and to find the music and mix, it will cost $15. So total price for the edit and music mixing will be $20. All of a sudden we've come from a, a $5 job to a $20 job just because it will cost $15 for this guy to find a good song on this website and put it into the video. That seems like a little bit of a rip off. However, I respect this guy's time. I'm gonna pay for this guy's time. Let's just hope he doesn't disappoint. All right, AirPods in, let's go. Please don't disappoint. The shots are right. Shots are well selected, but the music, I'm not feeling this music. Dude, <laughs> there was so much potential there. I mean, I wouldn't be upset if that was actually a fiver, but the fact that we spent an extra $15 and this is the song he, he picked, like, it, I don't feel it suits a streetwear brand at all. I don't know, it sounds a very folky, cheesy type of music. Uh, it does not suit this brand at all. I do like the shots that he's used. I'm gonna give that, mm, I was gonna say four out of 10, but I appreciate how quick he delivered this. I'm gonna give this a five out of 10. So next up, we have a seller that actually did charge us a fiver. So again, I went with this guy's cheapest package. So I'm not expecting mega great results here. I really liked his ad as well. It says, I will edit grade sound design your short videos. Skilled Premiere Pro user. We love that. We love a Premiere Pro user. Recently graduated film production at the University of Creative Arts. I'll be happy with any result because that was only a fiver. Okay, nice. Nice shot, very cinematic. I, li I like the song right now, it's okay. I like the beat, it's very chill. I'm not hating it. I'm not super loving it either. Nice product shot there.
I like what this guy's done. I really like that, especially for the price, a fiver. I'm sure if I paid this guy a bit more for his time, he could jazz it up a bit more. I felt like some of the edits in the video could, could have been cut with the music a bit better. I also feel like there was a missed opportunity for a cool transition right about here where the camera goes. And then you see, that could have been a cool time to add a transition into a different scene when you do those kind of wipes. But I like it, I'm, I like what I'm seeing. Also, this footage was all shot at 50 frames a second, which means you could slow this footage down and have some slow motion in here. So, so far, I've not really seen anyone do that. So I'm hoping to see some people utilize the fact that we have 50 frames here and that they could slow it down back to 25 to get some cool cinematic slow-mo shots. And he's used a great select. Uh, he's shown the product. He's used very nice chilled out music. Uh, I feel like I don't love the music. I don't hate it, but it's got the right vibe to it. I mean, compared to that previous one, I'm going to give this one seven out of 10. Edit number three. This is where it gets interesting. Uh, this next person, we paid $41. The reason I was interested in this particular ad is because they said, I will make your streetwear brand pop off with a crazy visual. Do you own a clothing brand? Do you want a unique, cool, contemporary visual to support and improve the vision of your brand? You've come to the right place. Oof. Yo. Oh, I like that. Funky. Yes. Where, uh, visuals are working with the sound, I like that. I like this transparent thing. But hold up. Nice. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm sure I've seen this in the previous shots and I needed to pause. <laughs> but is that a stock picture? Bro, that's a stock picture. It says deposit photos. There's a watermark on your transparent thing. What the hell, man? <laughs> You gotta pay attention to the little details like that. I mean, it's a cool effect, but there's a watermark on my video and I've paid for the video. Again, something that's very easy to fix by me highlighting this problem to them. But again, this is, I, I wanted to see the first edits that people deliver. feeling this. Eight out of ten for that. Editor number four. Right, we've in total, I've got a couple more people, okay? I don't know how long this video is going to be, but again, I spent a lot of money, so yeah. Roll the uh, integration for Squarespace any second now. Squarespace is ideal for creating professional websites. It has the best quality designs and features on the market. They have stunning templates, beautiful customization, and quality features are all at your fingertips. You can use a menu of styling options on the left-hand side of the screen to adjust how components displayed on the right appear. You can adjust things like fonts, colors, site width, and so on with minimum fuss. Its video background feature is great and allows you to create a big wow factor. Small businesses needing a simple information site will love Squarespace. It provides a low cost, time efficient way to create a stylish brochure site to showcase services. All of their templates are fully responsive, meaning that a mobile tablet optimized version of your site is automatically generated for users viewing your site on those devices. Not only does this make your site more accessible to a wider range of users, it can provide some SEO benefits too. And because Squarespace has sponsored today's video, I'm able to offer a 14 day free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, use my code Constantine to get 10% off your purchase. The link's in the description. So give that a click and check it out for yourself. Right, so this next person, their ad just said, I will editing your video to perfection. What are they promising for 50 pounds? That's like what, $60? How much is that exactly? $67, three days delivery, unlimited revisions, uh, color grading, sound design and mixing. Video editor and proofreader. A proofreader? You're a proofreader for, um, okay. So this guy sent me his uh, custom offer, which I paid off, all good. And I think I got the edit back the next day. I haven't seen it yet. Hopefully this is the kind of thing you were looking for. As stated in my gig, I offer unlimited revisions before the three day mark. That's perfect. So I could literally pester him with revision after revision. That's cool. As also stated in my gig, if the product is delivered before the three day mark, then I do charge an additional 16 pounds and 57 pence. Ah, where did it say that? Hang on, I need to go back. It's an option for me to tick, bro. 
I didn't select this option. Why is he trying to charge me an extra 16 pounds? Let's hope the edit is good. Okay, a bit of a, it sounds like a sad song. I'm not gonna lie, this is a bit of a stink up. <laughs> oh, this song doesn't, it's a pop song. This is a streetwear brand. Yeah, I mean... Whoa! That logo is massive! I'm so pissed. Why did that cost so much? Firstly, the song. It's a bit too pop for me. A streetwear brand a pop song with like a very upbeat drop at the end. I don't know, it didn't really suit the footage in my opinion. I'd listen to the song for another video. I don't hate pop music, but I just don't think it works with this. In terms of shot selections, it's a bit messy. There's a lot of uh, shots where the focus is snapping in and out of focus, stuff that I personally wouldn't use, or if I was to use it, I'd make sure to match it to my song or the sounds that are happening in the video. At one point, he just used like a super overexposed shot of the sun. That shot says nothing. That's just an overexposed shot. I don't know why I'm looking at it. It's just crap. Okay, yeah, I filmed this footage, but it's not something that's gonna make it into the edit. The close-up product shots as well, the ones that were used, feel like you can't actually make out what's written on the shirt because it's too much to the side and it's just too blurry. See, the drop of the actual video is very anticlimactic for me because you're expecting the beat drops, there's some, there's gonna be some more energetic cuts and it's just the same pace and throughout. So to me, this edit feels like, yeah, I know how to use an editing program. I've just slapped up the good looking shots together. There's no extra thought behind this edit. So <laughs> $67. Um, I, I, it's a five out of 10, okay? I'm actually pissed. I want a refund on that. Ah, no, wait, I'm gonna mark this guy down. He had the cheek to bump me for an extra 17 pounds. So I'm gonna give that a four out of 10 for my whole experience with this geezer, all right? I'm not happy. The next guy, Harvey, let's hope you can uh, lighten up the mood a little bit here now, because um, it's not very happy about spending so much money on that previous guy. So. Harvey actually impressed me with uh, how cool his event video looked. I will provide video editing skills for events and adverts. Perfect, we got ourselves an advert type of video. The color grade on this is fantastic and the editing is good. The, the choice of music being used on this is good. So I trust this guy price wise. He's also got a very reasonable price for me to want to go for this. 50 pounds about this gig, offering high quality video editing for ads, events and show real style videos. He's got four years plus experience with Premiere Pro, After Effects and Adobe softwares. And so far my communication with Harvey has been spot on. Uh, he sounds like a great dude. And he says he wants to make this video edit perfect for me, which makes me feel special as a client. You know, when someone says, hey, I want to make this perfect for you, right? That, that made me feel good. I like that, nice touch. Ooh, I like this grade. Yeah. Just ladders. Oh, yes. Uh. Huh? That shot looked really nice. I don't remember it looking that nice. Slow motion. I'm not a fan of the freeze frame cutout bits and you know, pasting them into different parts of the screen. I don't know, that. I think that's just a personal preference of mine. I feel like it cheapens the edit a little bit, but everything that I've seen there so far, the color grade, no one's bothered to color grade anything so far. So the fact that you've done that, smashed it. I like all of the shots that he's used. And I also really like how he used speed ramping to increase the speed of certain clips and to also slow it down. Also, I need to back up a little bit because I'm sure there was a shot that looks really nice and I don't remember it looking that nice. 
Okay, so I see he's added like blurring to the outside edges of the frame. And that, that instantly, that little blur around the edges makes me focused on our model and what he's wearing and the product. So I think that's, that's top quality editing there. It's not over blurred as well. I had to actually stop and examine the frame to see what's going on there. Because my initial reaction was, I like what I see. I want to watch this again. <laughs> this has brought a smile to my face. I absolutely love how he's used the sounds and made it work with the video. This transition, I'm not a fan of. Again, it looks a bit too, too basic. And uh, I appreciate the fact that he has attempted like loads of these cool different transitions. I think but maybe I'm just not a fan of them. Let me know what you think in the comments, you lot. It does take extra time when editing. So your choice of shots to display the product, quality stuff. I can read that clearly. You've used multiple angles of it. I love the little transition here created by the sun flare. That's very cool. And it matches the music as well. This is top editing. So personally, I'd lose these clones and cutouts. I just, again, I think they cheapen the edit a little bit. I think this guy deserves to charge more for his edit. I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. To the final person. Now for this one, I decided to click an option on Fiverr where you can find pro sellers. So I guess it filters out people who are actually pro 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 and verified pros. If I was on Fiverr, I'd wanna be under that category, all right? And these guys, they, they charge a lot. I've seen some people asking for like three grand for an edit. So that's beyond my budget right now, okay, unfortunately. However, I found this guy called Tim. He usually charges 184 pounds, which is like way over $200. For a small project. I will edit your footage to a professional video ad. Now, after looking at this guy's showreel, I was very impressed by the quality of the footage that he's used. It seems like he's very used to working in high-end production projects. He's edited car commercials. Do you know how picky car clients are when it comes to car commercials? So to me, his showreel represents that He's got years of experience, even without me reading his description. I don't have the highest of budgets for this video, so I decided to ask him if he can do this video for 100 pounds. Uh, he's come back with a counter offer of 126 pounds. So I've accepted that. I'm very happy with that offer. I appreciate his time on this. Well then, let's see what $150 gets us. Ooh, did you hear that? I need to put in my second one in. Oh, suspense building up, building up. Oh, <laughs> nice, moody, nice. I love the ending, look at that. He's made the logo small as well on brand. I, I wanna watch that again. That's my footage. I think if we combine the color grade from Harvey with this edit and some of Harvey's elements as well, smashed it. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this edit can be seen on TV or like cinema trailers, especially with the sounds that he's used. You really have to listen to this on some good speakers or some nice headphones. If you're watching that in like a cinema room, vibes, vibes. It gives you goosebumps. I love the drop in the middle as well. Different pacing of energy. I'm lost for words. I really enjoyed that and I don't regret spending that much. In fact, I can justify why that guy uh, charges so much initially and I appreciate his discount. I'm really impressed with uh, Harvey, $63. I'm impressed with Tim and who else? There has to be a third, a third place. I'm gonna give third place to Saf. Despite the watermark on the, on the, <laughs> on the stock auto, I think his editing skills are pretty good. So yeah, and that's me paying strangers to edit videos for me. This has been fun. All right, editing competition challenge time. If you've uh, skipped through the video, naughty, naughty, I want you watching the whole video, all right? I don't want you just skipping. So why don't you go back to the start of the video, watch it, and then watch this bit about how to enter, okay? Don't, no skipping. If you didn't skip and you watched the whole video, then um, 
We love that. We love that. So to enter, I will provide you guys with the same footage I gave to the guys on Fiverr. You can find that on my website. So I'll leave a link in the description for that. After you've downloaded it, feel free to edit it on any software, any computer. You can do it on your phone. You can do it on a potato, a brick, whatever. I don't care. Just get it edited. What I do ask is please keep your edits to 30 seconds or less. If you go anything above 30 seconds, 31 seconds, 30 seconds and a half, uh, I won't be I won't be viewing those. Okay, so please keep it 30 seconds long. Second rule, please use Epidemic Sound to choose your music. It's free to download songs on there. You only need to pay for a subscription service if you're planning to use this music on your channel. So personally, I use all the music in my videos from Epidemic Sound and I pay for the monthly subscription as it helps my channel stay free from any sort of music copyright strikes. So yeah, once again, you guys can download the songs from that website for free. You only need to pay if you want to use the songs on your channel as well. And the last thing is submissions. How do you submit your edit and make sure that I see it? Every single submission should be submitted to Instagram. And you know what I'm gonna say, right? You have to follow me on Instagram. You have to tag me on Instagram once you upload your video. And also use the hashtag cons edit challenge. By using this hashtag, I'll be able to search that hashtag and see all of the entries that have come through. For those of you wondering what my Instagram handle is, it's right here on screen. It's at confilms. So yeah, those are the rules. You have one week to do this. So the cutoff point is the 26th of June. So apart from those rules, there are no other rules. You have 100% creative freedom in how you approach this this edit. It could be funny, it could be a fast paced edit, it could be slow, it could be cinematic. I'm leaving that all down to you. I want to react to some cool edits so it's all in your hands now. All right, good luck to everybody and I'll see you guys very soon.